I feel like this is a tutorial that I've done more than a few times, but I really think it is applicable and very important for interior designers and also architects alike. The, the idea is really to build a sketch of base, and this is going to help you to draw things more accurately in perspective, in proportion to one another. And oftentimes, sure, I could probably build my perspective from scratch, but that's just gonna take a lot of time and, and not be very accurate. So having this done in a model, you can add in a lot of these finishing touches like the human aspect for the bookshelves, for the glass, for the lights, and the things that you might not need to model out to save time can all be added in via hand drawing. And you'll see that here's a good example where, you know, if you made a mistake with a bathtub, that's not really a mistake, but if the client changed their mind about not having a bathtub, but they want a stepping shower, you can just edit that layer out, erase the drawing or part of that drawing on the layer, cut it out, redraw it in as a walking shower. If you made a change to the lighting fixture or color or anything like that can really be taken out as long as you have a careful layer management so you know what layer to erase and what layer not to, this can be done very quickly. And Obviously, this drawing is in black and white, and I've actually dropped in a SketchUp shadow layer, as you'll see towards the end, and this is very quick to do in, in SketchUp. You can drop the shadow layer and just make some adjustments to it to bring in some depth to the drawing. You could make a color version of this or a material version of this drawing, and you can do that very easily with one of my Procreate color brush or marker brush. So to do a drawing like this from start to finish, nowadays probably will take me 15 to 20 minutes. It's a really enjoyable process, and I imagine this can save you a lot of hassle and time, as opposed to having a really finished model, rendering it out, to show a client. If I can get a client on board with a drawing like this, which most of the time I can, then the next thing for me is just really easy. It's just to transcribe the model into drawing, whether that's CAD or Revit for you. And because I, I started with a space planning that's based on real measurements in the model, when I do transcribe this to a set of drawings, it's really easy and it's not going to be off by a lot of inches or, or measurements. So this process is fairly streamlined for me. Like I would bring the model in as a backdrop without too much information so that it's enough information for me to confidently know that things will fit in place but it's not enough information where I can show a lot of the concept. But these I do as drawings. And you can do multiple versions of this as concept as you want. The idea is that the hand drawing is just a, a very easy tool like you would on paper, but on iPad, it's really easy to edit things, to make changes, to save your progress, or to even export a time lapse like this so that you can use it for social media posting and whatnot. So hopefully this video and the process is helpful. Let me know what you think and whether you think this is going to be part of your workflow sometimes in the future.